the substance. Hi, I'm Stephen Craig. This is a solo episode. This is the 78th episode of The Movie Review Show. <laughs> What is the movie review show? I go to my local theater, Red Wing Cinema 8. I watch a new released movie, and I review it. I use a popcorn race system, one ten popcorn. One popcorn being the worst, and ten popcorn being the best. Today's movie stars Demi Moore, Margaret Qualley, and Dennis Quaid in a cerebral, horrific, bloody film that asks the question, what would you do to be beautiful? And... It's the substance. Here's a trailer. People always ask for something new. It's inevitable. At 50, well, it stops. Have you ever dreamt of a better version of yourself? Younger, more beautiful, more perfect. One single injection unlocks your DNA and will release another version of yourself. This is The Substance. I'm Sue, 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 Sue. You're hired. Let's go. A perfect balance of seven days each. The one and only thing not to forget. You are one. You can't escape from yourself. There's been a slight misuse of the substance. <laughs> this balance is not working! Would you like to stop? 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 Like to stop? I'm fine. Everything's fine. People are gonna love that. It's review time. The movie begins with an egg. Someone injecting a syringe into the yolk, yolk grows into a second yolk. Elizabeth Sparkle, played by Demi Moore, is the star of an aerobics show called Sparkle Your Life. It's her 50th birthday, and she has been fired. She ends up in an unbelievably violent, realistic car crash. It's so powerful, you almost feel it. A male nurse at the hospital gives her a flash drive labeled the substance. Have you ever dreamt of a better version of yourself? Younger, more beautiful, more perfect. One single injection unlocks your DNA starting a new cellular division that will release another version of yourself. This is The Substance. She orders The Substance. I haven't seen Demi Moore in a movie for quite a while. It was good to see her. She, Margaret Qualley, and Dennis Quaid all did an excellent job. This horror movie deals with the obsession with youth and beauty. The special effects in this movie were unbelievable. 
especially scenes with skin. There's a lot of nudity in this movie, but I didn't think it was extraneous. I felt it fit the narrative. This wasn't just a run of the mill basic movie. The substance is an experience. Have you ever dreamt of a better version of yourself? Younger, more beautiful, more perfect. should always smile. I thought about giving this movie either a 10 or 9.5, but the ending changed my mind. During the last part of the film, my gut said, give this movie a six instead. This is a spoiler. The end of the substance was ridiculously and absurdly bloody. There was more blood than I've ever seen in a movie. And I don't think it was necessary. I think the director could have come up with a better finale. Otherwise, I'm so glad I saw this movie. It was awesome. It was incredible. The acting and special effects were top notch. But the ending, the ending, it was too much for me. I do not recommend this movie for teenagers. And it's definitely not for kids. If blood doesn't bother you, no matter how over the top, go see this film. It's amazing. The director did not hold back in any way when it comes to nudity, violence, and blood. My gut said I should give this movie a six because of the excessive blood. But because it was so good otherwise, I give this movie eight popcorns. Next, I'm going to show my score and then look up Rotten Tomatoes, Metacritic, and see how close your scores are to mine. Okay, I'm looking at Rotten Tomatoes. I'm feeling pretty positive about their score, their reviews. I think that the critics and the audience are both going to like it. So let's see. Ooh, the tomato meter is 90%. That's a, that's a pretty high score for Rotten Tomatoes. And the... Uh, Popcorn meter is 72%. So the audience didn't care for as much as the critics, but it's pretty cool that the critics liked it so much. Uh, so next I'm going to look up uh, Metacritic. Well, Metacritic is usually lower, so I'm guessing there's going to be like a 10 to 20 point difference. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, uh, the meta score is 77, and the user score is 7.3. So yeah, there, there, there's a difference, but the user scores, I'm thinking, were, were similar, so cool. It's the end of the show. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, as always, I'll be watching for you.